Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Anne. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? It was okay. Anna? I very good, teacher. Oh, it was okay. It was okay, teacher. All right. All right, that's nice. Hello, Jose Angel. Hello. Hello. How's it Hello. going? How Good evening. I, I work at teacher. Oh, you worked all day? We work at tonight. Okay. Oh. All day, all day. Today, yes. All right. So it was busy. Yes. Okay. So busy. Yeah, I bet. Good evening, Emma. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Um, today was a little busy. It was busy, okay. You had to work. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, and you're done with the platform. Is that right? Yes, I finished. Okay, very good. Good evening, Melvin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm well, I'm happy to be here one more time. Excellent. How was your day? Um, today was um, very good. That's nice. And have you finished with the work in the platform, Melvin? Yes. You're done. Yes. Did I you get your certificate too? Repeat, please. Did you get your certificate? Oh, uh, yes. All right. Great. I have my certificate. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Good evening, Maria del Rosario. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm very well. Great. How was your day? I was very tired, tired in my job. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I imagine. You had worked till late. Mm, at mm, 4 p.m. Oh, okay. All right. And are you done with the platform yeah. too? Platform. Are you done with the platform too? Yes, teacher. You are, okay. Excellent. Yes, I finished. All right, that's nice. Good evening, Brenda. Thank you. Good evening, me. How are you? Fine, you? I'm pretty good. How was your day? So. 
Okay. And have you finished with the work in the platform, Brenda? Yes, miss. I finished the platform. You're done too. Great. You, you're all done. That's nice. Okay, I think we may start with our class. So, um, well, first of all, we are going to talk about the recipes. Remember that yesterday we worked in small groups for making a recipe and using the sequence adverbs, right? What sequence adverbs did we learn about yesterday? Which ones do you remember? Yes. First, first. Yes. Then, first, then, 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 next, after that, after next, that, after that and finally. 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 finally, that is correct. And just remember that first is the one, the number one step. So we must always use it at the beginning. And then um, the last one would be finally. And for the others, we can use them interchangeably, right? We can use them in different places and they do not really change the meaning or anything. They're just synonyms. So now I'll give you the chance to present your recipes. Let's start with, let's see, Maria Rosario. Do you remember about your recipe? Did you grade uh, it down? Uh, my partner uh, uh -huh. prepared the cup of coffee. Okay. Uh, so tell us. Boil the water. No, thin, uh, <laughs> first. It's first boil the water. Okay. And then uh, I don't remember. <laughs> You don't remember, okay. So how about, um, who are you working with? Okay. Um, who did you work with? Maria Rosario? ¿Quiénes estaban en su grupo? Do you remember? Uh, Ana Palma. Uh, lo tengo compañero, no recuerdo. Ana Palma era una. Fabricio. Fabricio. Okay, you were together with Ana and Fabricio. Okay, so maybe we would need a couple of minutes to just remember about that. How about I send you to the breakout rooms for just two minutes for you to remember about okay. your recipe? And then we present it. So it was Ana, Maria del Rosario, and Fabricio. Okay. And the other group, Emma, who were you working with? I don't remember. You don't remember. Okay, fine. And Brenda, do you remember who was in your group? Uh, not teacher, just I, uh, I. You didn't. I not connect the plot the class. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, Melvin, were you in yesterday's class? Uh, don't remember. <laughs> don't remember. Okay, fine. So let me just assign you to a. Uh, a group and I'll send you to the breakout room for three minutes. So I'll give you three minutes to just make a recipe using the using the sequence adverbs. Remember about them first, then after okay. that. What else do we have? Okay. First, next, 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 then, then after that, after that finally. And finally. Okay, so that's what you have to use in your recipe. So let me send you now in. Remember you have a couple of minutes to prepare the recipe. Then we come back and we present it to the whole class. There you go. Do, ¿Tú estuviste en la clase de ayer? Eh, yes. Yes. ¿Qué es lo que yes. tenemos que hacer? Ah, eh, 
una receta usando los eh, la secuencia de first, next, third, that, finally. Ok. ¿Podrías hacer un ejemplo? Eh, sí, eh, un, preparar un café, un té. Un mm, ok. Mm. Ok. Hello. Hello. ¿Qué receta vamos a hacer? Ya no, casi no te no se te escucha. Bueno, yo casi no te escucho. Hola, hola. You're making a recipe. Just remember that yesterday we learned about the popcorn recipe, for example. And it, it goes like um, first put the put some oil in a pan, it said, and heat it all on, I think. Then just add the popcorn kegels. After that, shake it gently or something like that. So just remember that you have to express all the process to make popcorn using the sequence adverbs. First, then, next, after that, and finally. Is it clear okay. now? Thank you, teacher. Okay. So, uh, first, Jose Angel, next, Emma Orozco, and finally, Denis Castro. What do you think? Um, okay, but we have to choose a recipe. Ok. Creo que José iba a decir cómo preparar café. Serve the water in a cup. Then put the tick bag in the water. After that, la clase. add some sugar and milk. Finally, add a bis. Semita. Uh, Semita. Oh, <laughs> Semita and enjoy. And enjoy. Ya se lo puede, Ana. I write. I write the process. Okay. And I read. Have to make a cup of tea. First, boil some water. Next. Finally, and chill. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And finish. <laughs> uh, first, uh, prepare the bread. Uh, next, uh, uh, applique. ¿Cómo dijimos? Mayonnaise, mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Okay. Okay. Hello. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, I was just telling you about the pronunciation. It is mayonnaise. Mire. Mayonnaise. Okay. Mire. Mayonnaise. Eh, aquí está Ruth también. <ríe> Pensé que solo dos estaban. Eh, good evening, acabo de entrar. Okay. Okay. Eh, estamos haciendo una receta eh, con adverbs, ¿verdad? Sí, con adverbs. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok. The first, prepare the bread. Así era, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
uh, net era a different como way. A prepare the mayonnaise. Así era. You say yes. add, add, add the menu. Add the menu. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, cook the tomato. And then uh, put the ham and finally cheese. Sounds good. Okay, so we're going to the main yeah. room in just a couple of seconds. Okay, teacher. Okay, now it's time to present our recipes. So let's start with Fabricio's group. Let's see Fabricio and... Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, you're the chosen. <laughs> yes, yes. Go ahead, okay. How to make a cup of tea. First, boil some water. Next, Serve the water in the cup. Then pop the tea back in the water. After that, add some sugar. Finally, add semita and enjoy it. Excellent. That's a very good recipe for cafe con pan, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good job, Fabricio, Ana, and Maria. Now Thank let you. me ask. The next group that would be Dennis, Emma, and Jose Angel. Go ahead and participate, please. Yes, uh, the that is the recipe cough. Uh, first, uh, boil water. Next, uh, put put sugar in cup. Then mix, and finally to serve. It. Okay. Very good, Jose Angel, Dennis, and Emma. Nice. And the last group is Brenda, Melvin, and Ruth. Do you have a recipe as well? Brenda, Melvin, and Ruth? Yes, it shares uh, uh, prepared the bread, uh, net, uh, Applicate the menus. Add uh, then, uh, yes, uh, then uh, uh, cut the tomato. Uh, then uh, put the ham. 
and finally put the chips. All right, very good. Thanks for sharing. Very well, Brenda, Melvin, and Ruth. Nice job. And are we clear about the sequence adverbs or do we have any questions, any doubts still? No, not this. It's all right. Okay, in that case, we are going to go ahead and develop an exercise for putting into practice the present perfect and the past simple. We are going to fill in the blanks by using any of the tenses, any of the tenses, the present perfect or the past simple. For example, in number one, we got I, a great, a great film yesterday, and we have the verb see. So what do we say? I have seen or I saw? What do you think? I saw. I saw. Why do we choose saw and not have seen? It's a final finishing activity. Yeah, it talks about a finished time, right? Or a, a specific time in the past, which is yesterday. That's why we choose saw. We say, I saw a great film yesterday. Next one. A cheap laptop you ever buy. Have you, have you ever buy? Have you ever, what's the past participle uh, buy? Bought. Bought. Exactly, we say, have you ever bought a cheap laptop? Number three, sue the flu last winter with the verb have. Have. Yes. Had. had, right? Had. We say, had. who had the flu had. last winter? And we choose the simple past because we're talking about last winter. That is a time that is over. Next one. She yet not wake up. What do we say? She have. Have or has? Has. 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 Okay, has. we say she has. Not. Not. Walk. Walking. Up. So we have the sentence, she has not woken up yet. Yet. Number five says they bingo on Wednesday afternoon and we're using the verb play. Played. They played. That's correct. They played bingo on Wednesday afternoon. We're talking about that specific time, Wednesday afternoon. Number six, he the bus to get there already take. What do we say? Has. He has. He has already two. Already, what's Ready. the past participle of take? Okay. Take, take. Take. Taken. Taken. He has already taken the bus to get there. Number seven, last week, my rabbit away. Run. Run, we choose the simple past. Last week, my rabbit ran away. Once again, we're talking about last week. Number eight, we a lot last Sunday with the verb do. We did. We have. We did. 
we choose the simple past and again because we're talking about a finished period of time or a specific period of time in the past that would be last sunday number nine to india she ever be complete the sentence or the question in this case Bing. Has she ever had you ever been to India? Okay, we say has, has she, she ever, ever been? been to India? That is right. And the last one, I him last Monday meet. I met. That is correct. I met him last Monday. I met him last Monday. Okay, so take a look at the, uh, the sentences and tell me if you have any questions or doubts about any of them. I saw a great friend yesterday. Have you ever felt a cheap laptop? So had to flow last winter. She, she has not woken up. They played bingo or the stupid afternoon. He has already taken the bus to get to get there. Okay, so maybe we do not have any questions. Let's continue then. Well, today we're starting a new topic and we're going to talk about the future. We're studying two different kinds of future, which are the, the future would be going to and also the future would will. So let's start by reviewing the future would be going to. And first of all, we're going to read this conversation to illustrate how to use be going to in a real situation. So let me ask the people to read it. That would be, let's see, Brenda and Carlos René. Can you help me to read, please? Okay, teacher. All right, so Carlos, you can start. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the words are probably going to say, happy birthday. To me, it's so embarrassing. Okay. Thanks for reading, Carlos and Brenda. No now, I need you to repeat, please. Exciting. 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 Celebrate. Exciting. Celebrate. Celebrate. Fabulous. 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 Exactly. 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 Fabulous. Nine. 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 Waiters. Waiters. Sing. 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 Okay, now let me ask two people to read it once again. That would be Melvin and Emma. Okay, Emma, you can start. Okay, are you 
Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for, for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the wire wires are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. All right, thanks for reading. And let me ask Anna and Maria, can you read the conversation, please? Who is Tartisha? Mm, Anna, you can do it. Okay. Mary, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Mm. Maria, maybe you can check your microphone. Okay. No, está, está desactivado. Now we can hear you. Está desactivado. You don't really? hear really? Well, well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August night Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, thank you, Anna and Maria for reading. Now I need everybody to repeat. Are you going to do anything excited this weekend? Are you going, are you going are to you anything, going anything to exciting, exciting this weekend? This weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Well, well I'm going to celebrate, going to celebrate, celebrate my birthday. birthday. Fabulous. 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 When is your birthday exactly? When is your, when is your birthday, birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. It's August, August 9th, 9th, Sunday. Sunday. So what are your plans? So what are your so plans? plans? Well, 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 my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. My friend my Kayla, friend is, Kayla going to is going to take me, out, me for out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Nice. nice. Is she is going she to order, order a cake? Yeah. 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 And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. And the waiters, and the waiters are, are probably, probably going, going to sing happy, happy birthday, birthday, to, birthday to, me. to me. It's so embarrassing. It's, it's so embarrassing. embarrassing. So as you can see here in the conversation, we have used the, the future would be going to, who are making plans. This girl or, or boy, it's talking about the plans for his or her birthday celebration, right? I'm going to celebrate my, my birthday. And also we got my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Is she going to order a cake? We're talking about plans. So that would be the use of be going to. We use it for talking about future plans. And then the structure that we follow in order to make sentences using the using be going to for talking about the future is first of all we need a subject then we use the verb be in the forms um, is or are depending on the subject 
Then we we add going to plus the verb, then the complement. Here I have some examples. We are going to have a class tomorrow. Jose Angel, can you read the next one, please? Yes. Uh, we are going to have a class tomorrow. Tomorrow. The next one. Roxy is going to eat some cake. Thank you. Fabricio, can you help me with the next example, please? Annie is going to travel to Japan. Thanks. And the last example, Ruth. I am going to go to the beach. Thank you. So there you have some examples on how to use be going to. Just um, remember that we must always use the verb be in the forms am, is, or are. And then going to then the verb in the base form. We do not change the verb in any way. And that will be it. Then we also have uh, some contractions that may be possible in the be going to form. For example, here, we could say, we're going to have a class tomorrow. We're going. And in the second one, we would say, Rox is going to eat some cake. What would be the contracted form for the third sentence? Anis. Exactly, we say, Anne's going to travel to Japan. Ian's going to. And in the last sentence, we could say. I'm. I'm. That's right. I'm going to go to the beat. And also let me remind you that in informal conversation, we can pronounce going to as gonna. For example, here, in or, instead of saying we are going to have a class tomorrow, we may say we are gonna have a class tomorrow. Everybody repeat, please. We are gonna have a class tomorrow. We are gonna, we are gonna, gonna have, have class to class tomorrow. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Rox is gonna have, oh, sorry. Rox is gonna eat some cake. Rox is gonna eat some cake. Anne's gonna travel to Japan. Anne is gonna travel to Japan. I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna go to the beach. So instead of saying going to, we may say gonna in informal conversation. Okay, now let's talk about the plans that we have for tomorrow. What are you going to do tomorrow, Anna? I gonna, I wanna work. You gonna work? What else? A uh, table. Can you repeat that please? I gonna I gonna work to I gonna work tomorrow. You're gonna work and is there anything else that you plan to do? And I gonna I gonna start early in the in the work. Okay, great. Fabricio, what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to hurry at 6 a.m. You're going, you're going to wake up early? Early. Okay. Early is... Uh -huh, yes. Temprano. I, uh, yes. Okay. What else I'm are gonna, you going to do? I'm going to take a cup of coffee. You're yeah. going to take a cup of coffee. I'm going to eat the uh, breakfast. Okay, great. 
Now, Denis Castro, tell me about your plans for tomorrow. Um, gonna take a shower. Okay. In the uh, early in the morning. I don't know. All right. Um, I gonna I gonna take a breakfast um, at nine a.m. Okay. And I gonna. I'm gonna work um, at 8, 20 a.m. Oh, 30 a.m. Okay, all right, thanks for sharing. Now let me ask um, Missy Emma, go ahead and share your plans for tomorrow. Okay. Um, Tomorrow, I'm gonna do a report. Okay, you're going to make, I'm, you make a report. I'm going to make a report. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to answer emails. Okay. Um, I'm going to to prepare a meeting and uh, just that. Just that, okay. Very good, Emma. Carlos René, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to clean the house. Okay. I'm going to buy the, the bread. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna <laughs> take a breakfast, and then I'm going to work. All right, that's good. Ruth, tell us about your plans for tomorrow. Um, I am going to going, mm. uh, take a shower. I, I am going to uh, take a, a breakfast. Um, I'm going to travel yeah. to Planet Earth. Uh, right. I'm going to attend Christmas lunch at four. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Jose Angel, what are you going to do tomorrow? Jose Angel? Yeah. I go, I go, I go, I go to, to stay at a race park. Okay, anything else? Uh, yes, I, I, I'm going to to take a uh, a class a class the English. Okay, an English class. Very good, Jose Angel. Okay, let me just tell you about the mm -hmm. sentence. You say I'm going to or I'm gonna have breakfast. You may not say I'm gonna have a breakfast. We do not say that. We only say I'm going to have breakfast or I'm going to take breakfast. I'm going to eat breakfast, but please do not add a breakfast. It's only breakfast. And also remember that whenever we're using be going to, we need another verb after the going to, right? I'm going to eat. I'm going to take. I'm going to go. So we always use going to and then another verb in the base form. 
Okay, now let's remember how to make sentences in the negative form using be going to. Here I have some examples. We only add not right after the verb be. And we have, I am not going to eat pizza. Can you read the next example, please? Let me ask Maria. The, uh, I am not going to get up early. I'm not going to get up early. Okay, very good. Fabricio, can you help me to read the next example, please? I'm not going to rest tomorrow. Okay, nice. And here I got another example, which says they're not going to visit their grandma. Then we got Jack and Louis are not going to buy a house. And Caroline is not going to study French. And also remember that some contractions may, may be possible over here. We may say, for example, I'm not going to eat pizza or they aren't going to visit their grandma. Or so Jack and Louis aren't going to buy a new house, a house. And Caroline isn't going to study French. Okay, so now let's make um, some sentences using going to. And then we are going to make a chain. So that would be, for example, I make my sentence. I say, I'm going to buy a pair of shoes. I'm going to buy a pair of shoes. Then Maria del Rosario continues by saying, I'm not going to buy a pair of shoes, but I'm going to go to a party, for example. So you add another sentence, then the next person must repeat the last sentence, but in negative, and add another one by saying, but I'm going to. So let's do it. Maria del Rosario, I'm going to okay. make a book. But, but I'm going to go shopping. Okay. Fabricio, continue. Yeah, I love going to shopping, but I am going to watch TV. Very good. Jose Angel, it's your turn. Fabricio, can you repeat it? But I go, uh, I'm not going to uh, shopping. Mm -hmm but I'm going to watch the TV. I am not watch, I am not going to watch TV, but I, I am travel. Going to? Going to my home, my, 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 So you say, my I'm work. going to travel to my work. Okay. Yes. Ruth, you're next. I am not going to travel my work, but I'm going to, uh, to play, play uh, basket. Okay. Carlos René. I'm not going to play ba basket, but I'm going to study English. Nice. Brenda? I am not going to study English, but I am going to work. Sorry, can you repeat that, please, Brenda? The last part? Uh, but I am going to work. Okay, you're going to work. Melvin, next one. I know going to work. I'm going to, but I'm going to cinema. To go to the cinema, okay. Emma? Can you repeat, please? Melvin? I'm going to 
to cinema. I'm going to go to the cinema, you say. Okay. I'm not going to go to cinema, but I'm going to prepare pizza. All right. Dennis, go ahead. I'm not going to prepare pizza, but I'm going to wash the dishes. Ana Palma, you're the last one. He said wash the dishes. Oh, wash the wa dishes. The dishes, yeah. ah, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to wash the dishes, but I'm going to have to work. Okay, very good. Now let's remember about how to make yes, no questions using be going to. Just remember that we start with the verb be and we get uh, questions like, are you going to have an exam tomorrow? And the way to answer them is yes, I am or no, I'm not. Can you read the next question, Emma? Um, the second one, are they, okay, are they going to invite their best friends to the party? And the answers may be? Yes, they are. No, they are, they aren't. Thank you. Denis Castro, help me with the last example, please. I can hear that teacher. Oh, can you help me to read the last example? This one is Lisa. Okay. Is Lisa going to have seafood for lunch? In the answer? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Very good. Thanks. Okay, so now um, here I have some, some prompts, some information that we may use in order to make questions. So let me send you to the breakout rooms once again. And I want you to practice them by asking and answering with your together with your classmates. So it goes like, um, Anna, are you going to watch a TV program tomorrow? Yes, I'm going. Okay, that's what you have to do. So let me send a picture of the prompts or of the activities to the chat in WhatsApp. And let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. There you go. Are you going to watch a TV program? Um, Dennis. Uh, creo que, oh, okay, yes. Um, Está viendo los nombres, lo siento. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I am. Okay, the next is... Are you going to read a book, Jose Angel? Yeah. Can you hear me? No. 
No hayan. Ok, hold on. Hold on a second. Um, are you going to read a book tomorrow, for example? No, 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 hay, no, no, hay. no, I'm not. We may say, Jose Angel, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. Next one, Jose Angel. And yes, uh, you play basketball on the weekend, Danny. Number three. Ah, number three. To Carlos, Rene, please. Oh, okay. No, I know. Are you going to do the go to the beach on vacation? <laughs> In my case, yes, yes. I am. I wish. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I wish went to the beach on vacation. Okay. Yes, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. Are you going to eat pupusas on Sunday? Yes, I am. No, <laughs> no I'm not. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll. Brenda, are you hmm? going to watch a TV program? Yes, I am. Um, are you, uh, Melvin, are you have beans for dinner? Going to for, bean for dinner? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> Um, Brenda, uh, are you going eat going to eat pupusas on Sunday? Yes, I am. Uh, Melvin, are you going to celebrate Christmas? Yes, I am. Um, Brenda, are you buy are you going to buy clothes and shoes? Yes, I am. Um, in Melbourne, are you going to travel abroad? No, I'm not. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 Thank you very much for your attention and participation. Take care. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone.